Hi, Erica Stockwell Alpert here, and I'm going to talk today about a module I've created for Sitecore called the Content Export Tool. The Content Export Tool is a tool that allows content authors to easily generate highly customized and cohesive reports of Sitecore content. First, I'm going to briefly discuss the Sitecore PowerShell extensions, what they can do, and what the Content Export Tool brings to the table. So the Sitecore PowerShell extensions offers a lot of reporting options, including content audits. All of the reports that the PowerShell extensions offer are specific reports for very specified things, such as getting all broken links, getting all items with a particular template, getting locked items, etc. Furthermore, the Sitecore PowerShell Extensions is a dev tool. The Content Export Tool is a tool for the content authors, though of course it can be used by developers as well. What the Content Export Tool offers is the ability to report the values of specific fields on Sitecore items and the ability to combine multiple criteria into large customized reports. The idea for the content export tool began when my clients would frequently ask me for reports of their Sitecore content where they needed to know the values of one or multiple fields on a large number of items. And each time they made one of these requests, they needed different items or different fields. So I was writing new custom reporting tools every time. I figured that it would save a lot of work for myself and save a lot of time for my content authors if I could create one tool once and for all that would be able to satisfy any of their requests, no matter what information they asked me for. What I give you is the content export tool. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use the content export tool. The basic functionality is to choose a starting item. This can be left, left blank, which will start at the Sitecore content route. Select the templates that you want. If this is left blank, all templates will be selected. And select the fields that you want the values of. So let's take a look at our Sitecore content. We have a number of items under Habitat Home with a number of fields such as, let's see, title, summary, body, and image. Those are the fields I'm going to retrieve. So first, in order to prevent the report from taking way too long, which can happen if you have a very large content tree, I'm going to select a starting path because I don't need anything above this node. I'm going to select the specific templates that I want. As I mentioned, if I don't select any templates, then all of the items beneath that root will be included. I'm going to select a page type of article, and I'm also going to select my site root template. Now I'm going to select some fields. What the browse feature does here is it shows me the templates that I've chosen and offers me a list of all of the fields that exist in those templates. So I'm going to select those fields that I mentioned. I'll take navigation title and show in navigation. I forgot the image field that I wanted, so I'm just going to add that in manually. Now I'll note that the browse features can take a long time if you have a very big Sitecore instance, but if you enable the Sitecore item, item API, you can drastically improve the performance of the browse feature, and if you follow this link, it provides instructions on exactly how to do that. So now I'm going to generate my report. So here we've got the item path of every item. This is included by default in every report. 
And now we have the fields that we chose. Body, summary, title, navigation, title, show and navigation, and image. So you can see here we have an image field, a checkbox field, simple text, and some rich text fields. The content export tool can handle any field type, so this also includes multi-lists, drop lists, anything else you might have. Now I can save these settings so that if I want to run this report again, I don't have to remember all of the configurations that I put in previously. Content export settings, save. Now if I clear this, and I'm coming to this again tomorrow, I can look at my saved settings and rerun the same report that I just did. Now some of the other options that we have available are to include the template name. We can include templates that inherit selected templates. So if instead of selecting these templates here, we wanted a whole bunch of templates that all had one common inherited root, we could select just that one root and then check off this inheritance checkbox to get every template that inherits that template. We can also get all of the fields on the items that we're reporting, um, which can be helpful if you want to make sure you don't miss any content, but can be very costly if you're getting items that have a very large number of fields or a huge variety of items. You can select multiple start items if you want the contents of multiple folders but don't need all of the contents of their shared root because there might be a ton of other content in that root in other folders that you just don't need. And again, that can make this operation more expensive than it needs to be. So instead, you can put in the multiple root folders that you want. We have the option to only include items with a layout if you want to just get the page items themselves and not the components on those pages. We can include linked item IDs. This works for image, link, drop list, and multi-list fields where in addition to returning by default the site core path, we will also get the ID of the item that is linked. We also have raw HTML, which works similarly and works for images and link fields. We can get all item refer or refers uh, which gives us the path of all items that refer to our selected items. And then we also have some other options we can report like date created, date modified, created by and modified by, whether never published is checked off, the workflow and the workflow state. And then we can also set a, select a language if we only want one language version or get all of the different language versions. We can also specify a file name. So now we have a lot more information here. We have our template name. We have the language where you can see here we have both English and Japanese. The created field. And then all of the fields that we previously selected, which now includes in addition to image, we also have the image ID and the raw HTML of the image. So that's everything you need to know for using the content export tool. Some other things you could do with it include getting all of the items that exist under a certain path, all of the items of a particular template type, which is something you can do with the PowerShell reports. However, the PowerShell reports only allow you to select one template. That means that if you wanted a report for multiple templates, you would have to run a separate re report for each one and then combine your results of multiple spreadsheets into one report. With the content export tool, you only have to run it once, and then you have one cohesive report that includes all of the data you want.
The last feature I have to show you is the advanced search feature. So I'm going to clear this and start over. And now with advanced search, I can use this search to find a keyword or phrase in any field in our Sitecore content tree. So I'm going to search for the word Helix because I know that exists in a couple places. So here's a list of all of the items that include the word Helix. And here it tells me which field or multiple fields that word is found in. I can also use the advanced search in conjunction with the starting item if I only want to search in one particular place. The template filters if I only want to search items of a particular template type. And fields if I only want to find that value in specific fields. So for example, I only want to find items that contain Helix in the summary field. I'm going to run my search. Now we only have items where that was found in the summary field. So in addition to you, uh, using the advanced search to find all of the places on a site where a certain term might exist, you might also have a specific item that you're trying to find where you know, say the navigation title or some of the content, but you have no idea where it's located in Sitecore. The content editor, this search box here, isn't always helpful if you don't know the exact item name or ID. But you can use the advanced search on the content export tool to put in whatever keyword or phrase you expect to be on that item. And then once it finds it, it will be able to tell you the path so that you can find that item in Sitecore. So that's about it for the content export tool. If you think of any other creative uses for the tool, please let me know in the comments. You can download it from the Sitecore Marketplace, and I hope you'll try it out and find that it makes things easier for you and your content authors.